Today, I am at Voss and Wheels here in Miami, Florida, and we're gonna talk YCM. They have a few machines from 2012 that they've never repaired the spindles on, running oftentimes 24 hours a day at max RPM. Today, we have an automation cell behind us. We got Raul working this automation cell with four YCM machines running all day and all night. The reliability is necessary, but let's go meet with our buddy Al to learn more about the processes here at Voss and Wheels, how they're vertically integrated, doing stuff inside the machine shop that allows them to produce a globally recognized product. Al, first of all, thank you so much for allowing MTD to come into this amazing facility where we make rims, wheels, all day, every day. I mean, we have aluminum chips flying around and we're standing in front of a couple of YCM machines right now. Real quick, let's talk a little bit about Vossen Wheels and what you guys do here. Yeah, sure thing, Tony. Uh, we make wheels. <laughs> you made that real easy, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We make a lot of them. Uh, we make uh, forged bespoke wheels and cast monoblock, three-piece monoblock. And we make it for a variety of cars. We do it all day, every day. All day, every day. And I've had the great pleasure to walk around. We're showcasing the audience right now so they can see a bit of what's going on. You're actually in my backyard here in Miami yeah, as well. Yeah, sure. not is, that far away at all. Which is amazing. So we're, we're talking YCM today, and this machine looks like a legacy machine. You've had it a while. Can you describe to me what this machine has accomplished for you with your longer run times, your kind of lights out production that you're getting toward, yeah. instead of the, the shorter 5, 10, 20 minute ones, yeah. but those 8 hour, 12 hour you know, parts you have to run. Yeah. We are not a job shop. We make one product, like you said, we make wheels. Uh, some of the wheels can run in the machine up to maybe 12. I've had some wheels, very special wheels, run 24 hours. Wow. You know, but uh, we make the one product. Uh, the machines here, are, these three machines here, they were manufactured in 2012. They have 12,000 RPM spindles. Uh, we love them. Uh, we run them at 12,000 RPM max is what the machine will do. We run them in our programs. Let's say we have an eight hour program. That machine will run at 12,000 RPM, which is this is max, roughly, I don't know, 60 to 85% of the program. And so they're running at max all day long, every day since 2012. Al, I gotta be honest, that's wild to me because most situations I've been in, conversations I've sat down in, the machine makers will say, take about 20% off of the max, we don't wanna blow the bearings, right? But you're running these since 2012 at max RPM. Yeah. Have you ever had to replace a spindle? I've never replaced any of these spindles here on these older machines. Wow. Yeah. So this has actually led to the investment of some more YCM oh, yeah. machines, hadn't yeah. it? The main reason why we went with uh, YCM for our new robot cell and our other forge line is because of the spindles that were in these machines. Since we never replaced them, compared to other machines that we do have, we went back with YCM and say, hey, this is a good product, we'll keep with those guys. Let's talk about the importance as we're talking wheels and Boston as well, the importance of being able to machine from this direction all the time. And we will get into that automated cell and some of the manure machines, but it's important to understand how gravity works, how chips work, how coolant flows, the stickiness of aluminum, whether it be from a casting or a forge. Yeah. Let's talk about that as we're kind of describing these YCM machines and that overall you know, sometimes 24 hour yeah. runtime. Yeah, like you said, Aluminum is very sticky compared to steel or titanium or, or, or other metals. And one of the problems that we have to have to make sure that the, um, the chips are flushed out of the, of the part. They don't get out of the way. Uh, the YCMs do a great job with their pressure. I've never had pre uh, problems with their coolant pressure or anything like that. Um, even with our chips, since chips, the aluminum chips are sticky, uh, a lot of times they clog up the machines themselves clog up the coolant lines. Uh, so I, I don't have much problem with the, with the YCMs in that aspect. They do a great job uh, of dissipating the chips. So I, I really like that part of the machine. Yeah, absolutely agree. Now let's talk a little bit of automation now because you and I spend a lot of time in the manufacturing world. You, yeah. You've been doing this for a while. You're the expert here. And you have seen automation and we talk about it a lot. We all talk about it around the world. Automation is how we compete. It's how we run through the night. But you have to have machines that can run through the night in order to create an automated yeah. cell, right? Yeah. So you have four YCMs. 
right now set up with a robot that does op 10 and op 20, side one and side two, flips it around, blows it off, puts yep. it back in. Can we just talk about that cell sure. a little bit and what yeah, it yeah. brings to the overall yeah. production of Bossom wheels? Yeah, so coming from the Ford side, we had to figure out, you know, we had to in increase our capacity. Since we do two types of wheels, forged and cast, we started out with cast and decided that, hey, a robot cell is, would really improve our versatility when it comes to making uh, wheels for different cars. One of the problems that you have in manufacturing wheels is you want to you wanna make a certain wheel fit a variety of cars. Well, how do you save money in doing that? Well, one of the ways of saving money is you don't do the PCD of the wheel, meaning you don't do the little five holes that where you bolt the wheel onto the car for every car on every wheel. You'd have to stock thousands and thousands and thousands of wheels. And so to make that more streamlined, it's easier for us to manufacture the casting and then do our own drilling and boring in the casting itself. That way, we don't have to stock as many wheels as other companies do. It streams all, streamlines our business, saves us a lot of money, so we went to a robot cell that allows us to say, you wanna buy a Honda, a set of wheels for a Honda Accord, or you wanna buy a set of wheels for a Ferrari. Different cars, right? So I have to Just match- a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I have to match that, those holes, or the other part of the wheel that we do cut to, for the for the Honda Accord, but that same wheel can be used on a Ferrari. All I gotta do is make the bore, the PCD, all that stuff that we do here in house, make it different than the Honda Accord. So it gives us versatility, and so it saves us in our warehouse space. You don't got to put as much money into buying thousands and thousands of wheels. Customer comes to us and say, hey, I want this wheel to fit, fit this car. Okay, I can make that wheel fit your car. I can make that wheel fit somebody else's car. Yeah, it's a great explanation. I can only imagine the thousands of my head. If you weren't doing it that way, you already said, you, this is a huge facility. You already said your warehouse is about twice or three times this. I can only imagine what it would have to be if you had yeah. to stock all those different ones. Yeah. But the automation cell itself, allows for you to have that confidence to run through the night on those longer programs yeah. to do the op 10s and 20s because that's what automation is about being able to run through the night otherwise as one of your guys quoted perfectly you have a very expensive boat anchor yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so it allows us to run the robot does a great job it's it it doesn't get tired it doesn't have days off it runs and keeps running and so that's what our automated cell do, really does for us. Let's close this thing out because we've talked about how well these machines have been running since 2012. We talked about the investment in new machines. I believe you have nine on the floor right now continuing to grow with a four uh, machine automated cell as well. So let's close this thing out with Boston. A little bit more about Boston. I'd love to learn what you guys, why you guys got into this, how you got into this. You came over from Mississippi. We're yeah. now in Florida. Yeah. You have a passion for this. I can tell. I've seen some of the most intricate rims that would be beautiful on my not Ferrari, but I'm not going to tell you what I have, yeah, but it's yeah, not yeah. a Ferrari. So let's talk about Boston, what you guys produce, how people can find you, learn more about you, reach out to distributors or sales guys and know that they're going to get quality products by looking around this machine shop and what you guys yeah. truly have vertically integrated here. Yeah. So the easiest place to find us is bostonwheels.com. You make that too easy. You can see everything we do there. We have videos. We have, a, I don't know, a gazillion photos of every car you could ever want with every wheel that we have on there, every color that we sell. Uh, that's the easiest way. Uh, we're also on all the social media. We have two and a quarter million followers on Instagram. So we're everywhere. I mean, you, you cannot not find us. <laughs> That's a great You can't not not find us. And is this why you're so good on camera? Have I seen you in some other videos before? Oh, yeah, I'm all over the place. You're, all over, are you, you're fam more famous than I am, I think, right? I don't know about that one. but uh, I think we are. Well, Al, you've done an amazing job today describing how these machines have worked for you, how they continue to work for you as well. Thank you for sharing, allowing us to bring cameras in this facility. Keep up the great work. I'm inspired by you. What an awesome, awesome facility. Thank you, Johnny. I appreciate it.
Boston wheels are made right here in Miami, Florida. And as you could hear from Al, this is that globally recognized brand doing what it takes to make the best products on the planet. A few more YCM behind me, but nine total with an automation cell, keeping things going lights out. This is a type of productivity that you can count on and rely on when it comes to the YCM. And here at Voss and Wheels, they continue to invest in their improvement and success in their future. Check them out anytime as they continue to grow, not just on social media, but in the manufacturing world.